books, great stories. Today we will be reading 10 Ways to Hear Snow. In this book, a girl named Lena goes to visit her grandmother because it's a snowy day and she wants to find out if her grandmother's okay. Let's read to find out what happens. Make sure to subscribe to Little Books Great Stories, like the video, and let's start reading. 10 Ways to Hear Snow Written by Kathy Camper Illustrated by Kennard Peck When Lena woke up, everything was quiet. No cars honked, no buses chugged, no garbage truck to gulp trash across the street. Snow! Last night's blizzard was gone, leaving the city muffled and white. But today was Grape Leaf Day, when Lena would help her grandma make wada anub. Siti was losing her eyesight, and Lena loved helping her cook. I want to tell Siti about the snowstorm and make sure she's okay. The snow's so deep, Lena's mom said. We could go with you, Lena's dad offered, but Lena wanted to go to see these by herself. Stay warm, Habibi, her dad told her. Lena bundled up. Outside, the sun on the snow was as bright white as a light bulb. Lena squinched her eyes and pulled her scarf over her nose. She could barely see. I wonder if this is how Siti feels, Lena thought. The world sounded softer, but the noises she heard were clearer. Scrape, scrip, scrape, scrip. What was that? It was Miss Watson's shovel digging out the sidewalk. That's one way to hear snow, Lena thought. Lena walked down the street. Sneak, sneak, snuck. The noise was low to the ground. What was that? It was the treads of Lena's boots crunching snow into tiny waffles. Two ways to hear snow. Lena ducked under a pine tree. Plumph! A powdery sound. A blue jay on a branch had knocked down snow. Three ways to hear snow. Lena counted. She listened for more. Swish, swish. Swish, swish. What was that soft, whiskery noise? People were sweeping snow off their cars. Their brushes made the fourth way to hear snow. Lena cut across the park. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Another snow noise? Lena saw long, skinny tracks by her boots ahead of her. People were skiing. Their skis made the fifth way to hear snow. Ratchet and Miriam were building a snowman. Pat, pat, pat. So what was that? It was Mittens smoothing out the snowman's head. The gentle sound made the sixth way to hear snow. As Lena walked away, her friends whispered and giggled. Dwomp! Oh no! Lena ran away fast from the seventh way to hear snow. Lena reached Sithi's building all out of breath, her boots covered with white powder. Stomp! Stomp, stomp, Lena giggled. She was making the eighth way to hear snow. Hello, Lena, the lady in the lobby said. Go on in. She pointed toward Lena's grandma's room. Lena tapped on the door. Surprise, Siti, it's me. I came to make grape leaves with you. Lena threw her coat and mittens on the radiator to dry. Wonderful. The lamb and rice are ready. C.T. said. Yeah! I can't wait! Lena shouted. Let's get started. Lena rinsed the grape leaves and placed them on towels. Put some filling in the center, roll them up, and put them in the pot, C.T. instructed. They're like little grape leaf cocoons, Lena said, looking at them piled on the plate. Or lots of little sleeping bags, C.T. replied. Ha! Mine looks like a mustache. Lena held her stuffed grape leaf under her nose. Siti held hers behind her nose, too. That's good. She wrinkled up her face and said, We look like a couple real tough guys, in a tough guy voice. 
Still, I listened to. I heard snow nine different ways. Shovels were one. Boots were two. The blue jay was three. Slow down, Habibi. I want to hear them all, but right now, shh. Ct went to the window and opened it again. Listen, she said. Outside, the late blue afternoon was completely still. Quiet is the tenth way to hear snow. Thank you for listening to today's read aloud. Please come back again next week for another one here at Little Books Great Stories. Bye.